So let me tell you how I lived a rent-free, rent-free for nine years. At the end of the day, it was, was really kind of about curiosity. So check this out. I grew up in Michigan where I played tennis at Michigan State. I taught tennis there some in the summers. I moved down to Atlanta to find a job in sports, and my friend let me stay in, at her apartment on her couch. I moved down with 2000 bucks and no job. <laughs> so I wake up, early, you know, when I first get down to Atlanta, well, I had learned as I was preparing to come down and once I got to Atlanta that tennis was a really big deal in Atlanta. Like they had tennis pros at apartment complexes for the people that lived at the apartment complex. And I was like, dude, that'd be a sick deal, right? Because I'm staying on a couch right now. Long story short, I learned about an apartment complex where they're about to lose their tennis pro. But the tennis pro hasn't told the manager yet. So long story short, I go over there and I start to build a little bit of a relationship with her. She's kind of blowing me off, right? Because she's had this tennis pro for a while. So she's not that interested in, in, in how I could help her. But I get inside of her world a little bit. I build a little connection. And at the same time, I, I found this restaurant across the street, right across the street, really close. And I got, I went over, introduced myself and got these guys to promise me that they would give me 15 pizzas for free one time a month that I could give to the residents at the property. And then we'd put a coupon in the newsletter that I would stuff in the newsletter that I'd seen when I was in there that would drive traffic back to the restaurant. I, I, I build that relationship with this restaurant. I call my buddy at Wilson Sporting Goods and ask him if he'd send me Wilson stuff down because I could give it away to people at the tennis clinic. I get this going. I, be, I begin to sort of trickle this information into the manager as I'm beginning to sort of stop by from time to time and check in in case maybe the pros told her, He's leaving. I, I, I printed these tennis tips that I had previously written in Michigan for a little magazine, but they're probably very poorly written. But I thought, gosh, we could reuse them and, and, and get people kind of in the community and future residents excited about the program. So I begin to tell her about this pizza stuff and this Wilson stuff and these tennis tips. Finally, the pro comes in and tells her that he's leaving. Who's she going to turn to? At the end of the day, over a few days, I had demonstrated her to her what this relationship would look like, what it would feel like, what it would be like. Because at the end of it, it was really about, for me, it was about being curious about what mattered most to her, which probably isn't really a tennis bro, right? It's about keeping her community happy, keeping her residents happy, keeping her occupancy up. So I had demonstrated her how I could add value. I would challenge you at some level, it was about, how can I, how can I act like I have the business before I have the business? How, how can I be, behave in a way and add value to her world that, that shows her what this relationship would look like, what it would be like, right? You know, so often in life, when we think about our relationships, how do we pour into them first, right? How do we add value? How do we, how do we get inside of their head and heart and understand the things that they're really worried about? How do we make it so hard when we do make the ask that it's almost hard for them to say no? because we've shown them what this would look like. The tennis pro before had been great, but he didn't have Wilson stuff and pizza things and tennis tips. She didn't want to go back to the file folder of people who had probably stopped by over the last however many years to try to lock in this gig. I lived in that apartment complex, taught tennis every Tuesday night for free for nine years. We kept her occupancy up. I still have a great relationship with a pizza place across the street. I would challenge you. Pull back and identify the gaps in the lives of the people that you want to add value to. Get in their head and heart. Add value to their worlds. Act like you have the business sometimes before you have the business. Be curious. Be curious about the ways in which you can add value. Curiosity, it creates awesome chances. 